What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I, I, it's been pretty uh, quiet around here, and I apologize for that. I've been uh, in more of a gamer's kind of mood. Been working on the, uh, and I'm, I'm calling it now the Curb Caster, or the Curbo Caster. I don't know which way I'm going to go about it, because, again, I found it looking like this. You know, let me let me put a, a photo montage up here. So as the photos show, uh, I hogged out by hand with a chisel, by the way, all this material right here, going to where the cavity normally would end with a Stratocaster style body. Um, now I'm kind of doing the superficial stuff. I, I, I pulled together a busted big card. This is all gaffer's tape from work. This thing was split and everything, but uh, just get an idea of what I want to do with this. I want to go minimal with the pick card. I want it to be all wooden resin. We'll get to that when we get to it. Um, so I traced it out on a piece of card stock over there. Hey, look at that. Sexy. Um, and I've been doing this. So this idea is that these are going to be two separate pieces. Um, I'm going to cut a piece, literally, you know, I'm going to make a photocopy of this. And I'm just going to do a one-to-one -one template. And then put it into whatever material, whether it be a piece of metal. It could be a piece of aluminum or something like that. Uh, maybe I'll do a pick art material. Definitely, I got plenty of birch around. I got plenty of this looking around, these birch panels uh, that I get at work. Uh, maybe make it out of that. I don't know. This, I'm actually thinking about going just enough material to hold the pickups. And we'll get to that again when we get to all of that. Um, I create a dam over here for when I decide to pour. Uh, this is just, again, to keep things from pouring through. Uh, but more so, we're going to be building up in here. And I had a couple of different ideas. Uh, my initial idea was I have all of these shavings and chips from when I was hogging all that out, man. It was a lot of work, but I love doing it. It's so friggin' therapeutic. But um, And I was going to build up a little bit in here. Uh, to give the bridge something to anchor on to. But instead, I just came up with this. <laughs> uh, you're not really going to even be able to see it. It's it's about, I'd say, an eighth of an inch shallower than the cavity. So the resin will pour over it nicely and the bridge will sit there. So I did mark out where, you know, 25 and uh, 3 quarter scale, which is typical fender scale, using a neck. I brought the neck inside. It's a little warm and humid today. So I didn't want it, you know, doing this flippity floppity. I'm going to become crappity. You know, so it didn't twist up and all that crap. So, uh, so that's where we're at with this so far. I also created that right there. So we can get some material inside. In hindsight, I should have drilled some anchors in there. Like just a screw or something, you know. Kind of like I did with the Haunted House uh, Esquire Explorer guitar. The back right here. So not much has happened back here. I don't think much will, to be perfectly honest with you. And it goes a little something like this. Kick it. I'm probably going to have to shim this side up a little bit. It's already flush, so I don't know. Or maybe I'll just hog out more over here and bring it down so we can have that resin there. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, that's the idea. That's the idea. You know, I guess you're going to ask me why. Why remove all that material? Because this was here and I thought I was going to use a whole cavity and then, you know, route out pickups. And, you know, we may still do that. Bridge will go here. I'm thinking of Telly Bridge. Oh, yeah. The electronics and everything. What I'm thinking about. Um, Brent Mason has a really rad setup. Uh, he's a session player. You, if, you, if you listen to anything that's, I guess, bluesy, more so country and stuff like that, uh, he's played with like Dolly Parton and, and all those cats. Um, amazing guitar player, but he's got this really unique setup on this telly he has. He has a telly bridge pickup. Uh, he's got a stacked Seymour Duncan, I can't remember what model it is, a uh, single coil here, which is, I guess, technically a humbucker, and then a mini humbucker, Seymour Duncan here. And then he has a typical Strat, kind of three knob in the, uh, the selective switch setup, but it's in a tele format, because it's a, you know, the guitar is a Telecaster. Um, and it's got this really interesting wiring scheme. There's a push-pull and a blend knob in the middle. 
Um, basically, the blend knob and everything is, is is about the middle pickup, and you can pull this up to make it just a regular, you know, Telecaster, the two pickup job. Push it in, the middle pickup comes into play, and then you can do all the knobs and the doodads to make the things happen. I'm debating on that. I'm debating on that because it's such a beautiful sounding, very versatile. Either way, that's where we're going to stand with this. So I'm going to play around with a few ideas. Um, I may come back on later to talk about this. I don't know if I want to just put like an emblem there and fill the rest with resin or something like that. The other idea I had is all these paint or these chips from here, you know, just layering them up and then pour resin in it just to give it a nice little but it'll only be in this block and it'll look stupid. That means I'll have to hog out more. I don't know. But we'll get there when we get there. Um, one question though, do you think I should just go very minimalist with the pick guard here? And get rid of all this other crap? Because literally I'm probably just gonna buy a telly pick guard and just make it look however I end up making this look. But I don't know, I don't know. I wanna go minimal on the uh, plates and let the rest of it do the talking. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. <clears throat> now mind you, I've had like kind of a I guess you would call it a spring cold, but we're going into fall, and uh, <clears throat> my voice is a little goofy, as you, you, you can tell, so uh, my apologies for that. But if you did get this far, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all feedback to the Creep Plaza. And until next time, wherever in the world you are, I hope you are doing well. Take care. Creeper room. And bye-bye.